Okay. Oh, I guess this is from uh, two days ago. Um, Alex Jones and Laura Loomer, very upset about um, about uh, Twitter in general. In fact, I don't know uh, if you saw what happened in the last hour or so, and I don't want to make. I, well, I just want to be clear. I'm not making light of this in general, but Laura Loomer has now said apparently we don't even need to put it up that mental health is a serious issue and getting her her check marked back, not getting it back might lead to her self. She's threatening Jack with she's threatening her Jack own suicide with... unless she gets her blue check mark. <laughs> Wait, what? That is a very abusive thing to do. She's literally doing that. That feels manipulative to me. <laughs> That feels emotionally manipulative to me. Yeah, no I'm shit. a little bit sensitive to that. What? Um, what? Wait, how is she doing that? By, by Twitter? By tweeting. Yeah. Tweets. Can, 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 can we see those tweets? This will provide some, I guess, um, context for what you're about to see. Um, we should say that since this video has come out, I guess two things have happened. One is... Um, Alex Jones has been banned from Twitter. It has nothing to do with his harassment of uh, of Dorsey or, frankly, that matter of the harassment of um, families from uh, Newtown. Um, it has to do uh, with, of course, uh, his harassing of a reporter from CNN. Here is Laura Loomer. I'm going to read. This is not a joke. So it's not funny, Michael. I'm sorry. Laura Loomer. She has a a, a, a a red X mark instead of her blue check mark. Oh, that's the best part. From a <laughs> mental from a mental health perspective. Censorship by big tech. Now when she says censorship, she means the loss of the blue the check mark. Blue, blue check mark, yeah. yeah apparently. Course. How else would you silence somebody? Right. Uh that uh, censorship by big tech is very dangerous. It can be deadly, actually. Many people suffer from depression, including myself. What do you think a clinically depressed person will do when big tech takes away their speech outlet? Suicide. Uh, look. She's still tweeting, is she not? She is tweeting, but she's not tweeting. It's interesting with... that Nike's been in the news so much now, recently. She doesn't... There's a slogan that might involve my response to that. Uh, this, of course, was a uh, back in 2017. Laura Loomer famously said that uh, someone slashed her tire. She was speechless. One week after someone doxxed her, it turned out that uh, the tire was actually uh, an old, super old. Well, sometimes if you suffer from mental illness, what happens is is you think somebody slashed your tire, and then you make claims on social media. Right. <laughs> I mean, tires are That's not. What uh, but look, I, nobody wants. Nobody wants. Look at that work by Antifa right yeah. there. <laughs> nobody wants uh, anyone right. to harm themselves. Um, maybe there can be some type of like just broad recognition from those people on Twitter that even if Twitter won't give her a blue check mark that she has one like I mean really right because blue check mark is all about uh, perception anyways and so if we all see one when we see her uh, it'll be better now here is hasn't sorry, made I'm, my life any better I'm, I hate wait, to break it to you Laura I, I'm sorry I'm composing one right now I still don't have mine I will Kill okay. myself. Here is <laughs> By the video end of the from day. Infowars of um, Alex Jones and Laura Loomer just gets herself into the video um, trying to tell Dorsey to, I don't know, I guess give her her blue check mark back and S- stop violating, her, right. violating her First Amendment rights, I think is what she says. Yep. And um, here it is. Too. Hey, Jack, I appreciate you supporting the First Amendment, but I have a right to face my accusers, Jack, and I never I never threatened the media with battle rifles. Jack, can I have your autograph, sir? So, hey, Jack. CNN, Jack, fine. You CNN. Have, you have verified me and called me a white supremacist. I'm destroying free speech. You're violating my First Amendment right. CNN, CNN and the Democrats, you know, are destroying the First Amendment and needs to be stood up against. Mr. Dorsey, when can I have my verification? 
vacation back. Obama set up a CIA office to shut down independent press in the U.S. I am a journalist. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Obama set up a CIA office before he left to shut down independent populist media in the U.S. And Trump knows it. He's getting ready to sign an executive order reversing it. All right, cool. The Defense Authorization Act. All right. Watch. So that's the reality of what's going on. I told you it was a bait and switch. That's how media operates. There you go. And I have to say, when I first saw that clip, I was like, boy, it's, it's amazing. These guys, um, in, in that context, just look like two ranting lunatics. And, um, yeah. In what other context would they not just look like two ranting lunatics? On some did level, she, she you put, literally you, say First Amendment right in the same breath as blue as, check as mark. Blue check mark. I mean, it's so funny to me because I think there's a very valid conversation. Wow. I think there's a really valid conversation. I mean, I've said about the times unenumerated about, right to have a blue check. Mark. Well, obviously. And if I don't get one within the I'll be I'll be I, you better have a backup plan for Monday because I'm going to off myself this weekend if I don't mm, get one. Okay. Jack. I mean, <laughs> Thanks. Sam. It almost feels a little bit ableist to be dumping on them at this point because they're clearly just out of their goddamn minds. But counterpoint. Most of the people I know suffer from some form of mental illness and they don't do this shit. So no, mm, I, I don't, I don't think know. This is, I think this is unless you just consider just utter moral depravity mm. and delusion. What does that guy have a Google? Glasses yeah. On? Wow. Vic, there, this guy has Google class and he was also in there. If we go back to the video, he was sort of, um, was he bothering? He was Jack there. You see him with right? Jack. That's weird. Yeah, I'm a He's right there. Hey, Jack, I appreciate you supporting the First Amendment, but I have a right to face my accusers, Jack. What a weirdo. That's, yeah, that's almost the strangest person in this whole video. Yeah. But I just it's just amazing. Like, I mean, it's one thing to say, hey, these private platforms have enormous implications for people's sort of public access to speak their mind or run their businesses. Like, I think it is something that we obviously have to deal with, and I do think you know, things like nationalization or treating it like utilities are going to. Yes. And, and bring, and that actually will government takeovers will actually mean that the first amendment starts to apply. But I have not heard, like, I guess well, what I'm listen, is, here's what's weird. When Twitter gets up there and talks about being the town square, um, unless it's like celebration, that town, like the Disney owned town, yeah. they don't, they're not the town square. The town square is, Specifically, a place that is owned by the town, by the town's people. That's the town square. You know, the, you know, you can't be a private company that's a town square. I mean, in some it's like respects, like Cotty Park, you know, right? Well, it's a but, privately owned square that they let us use sometimes. But the 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 point is, is that they are, I think, introducing the concept of what really is the fix for this. Yeah. By by claiming that they are the town square, they are basically. It seems to me it's an invite to say, like, you know, we, we really need to be nationalized. Exactly. Um, because it is, I mean, on some level, and it's the, the, the difficulty is that we have no analog, right, to this in, in, the, in the way that communications have operated before. There was, um, in terms of frequencies on radio, you could only have limited bandwidth, right? You can't. You can only have a fifty thousand. Uh, is there's only a couple of these licenses of super stations that can reach halfway across the country. Uh, otherwise, you can't. You can't tread on certain frequencies. Hundred um, yeah, percent. Same thing. The government thing, regulates that. They've right. regulated all other kinds of infrastructure that have come along over time. Without a doubt, the question isn't necessarily um, whether the government has the authority to do it. The question is simply, how do you do it, right? In this instance, like you, you, you broadcast on television, you have to, you have to get a license. I mean, the you, there are there are uh, FCC rules about how much clearance you can have, and there's a reason for that, uh, presumably. And so, um, I think when Twitter says like we're the town square, I think that begins to sort of offer the solution. There, they are. They're claiming to be something that I think in some respects they are, but they're missing the fundamental part about it, which is the town. Right. And I mean, they're all these are all privatized commons, which came out of an initial sort of public good, which was the government created and generated Internet. And there's no need for it to be something that's in private hands and certainly not concentrated in this way. I do think what's funny to me is that 
like Alex Jones in cynical, demented, and ridiculous ways is pointing to what we're talking about for his own cynical ends. She on the, what makes her yeah, funny baked is, Alaska did too. Yeah, Remember he when he baked, baked Alaska nailed it. He's like, yeah. well, you can turn my water off. Right. I mean, he basically well, distilled did. the whole thing. But what's funny with her is it's like this is sort of what, what is the old dumb conservative trope like. They want everybody to get a gold star. Right. I want everybody to get a blue check mark. It is. Yeah. yeah. People got to remember that the internet was uh, publicly funded. They right. socialized the risk and privatized the profits, which doesn't really seem fair to me. But uh, that's true of all these things. I mean, even, yep. my God, medical research. We need to look at that more. And a lot of the money that big tech is making is just based on being a step ahead of the law on some of these things. Like Amazon was able to blow the competition out of the water because they didn't have to collect sales tax right. in any of the states where they sold stuff. And now, finally, that they have enough brick and mortar facilities, they're finally having to collect tax. But it's or as Corey says, actually just breaking multiple laws and then real being like, well, we will have the money to lobby to change them retroactively. Right. But in many respects, that's what Uber did. That's totally what Uber <clears throat> did, yeah. Better to ask forgiveness than permission. Yeah. Calling from true. an 813 area code.